This video will demonstrate a time saver on creating numbered and bulleted lists. So oftentimes you're in Google Docs or in Gmail and you won't need to create a list of bulleted items or a list of steps with numbered items. So in this example I'm in a Google document and I need to create a list or a series of steps for students to follow. So on my syllabus I may have some information for students to read and then down below I want to let them know what the absent procedures are. So I'm going to give them a series of steps here. So I may click after the basic instructions and then um, enter down a couple times. And normally I'd probably go up to the menu and click the numbered list to start creating my numbered items. But a shortcut to that is just on your keyboard to press Control Shift 7. As soon as I press Control Shift 7, I'll get a numbered list here to begin. When I type in my first instruction, I'll hit enter and you'll see it automatically gives me the number two. I type in my second instruction, hit enter, and it'll go down to the next line. But here's where um, sometimes when you're giving a list of instructions, sometimes this list can get to be kind of garbled because the lines are kind of so close together. So another thing that you can do to give some separation is after the first instruction, if I press shift enter, that'll give me a space it's called a soft return so that it will not um, continue the numbering for that one line. And then I hit enter to give me the number two. So again, shift enter. It'll return a soft return without numbering. And now I just do a normal enter to get number three. I continue typing my steps, shift enter to create that space, enter to create the next number, and then type my last instruction. Now down below here for help, helpful resources, I may just use a bulleted list. So again, I'll put my cursor after the instruction. I'll hit enter, then create another a line of space by hitting enter again. And now I'll press control shift eight. Eight will give me a bullet. Again, control shift seven gives me the numbered list. Control shift eight gives me a bulleted list. And again, I'll just type in uh, my first bulleted resource. One thing to know is that um, in Google Docs, if you put in um, a URL, or a website address. As soon as I press space after that address, Google Docs will automatically hyperlink that, um, that URL address. I'll hit enter to get my next bullet, put in my resource information, and again I can either hit space to get it to hyperlink or just hit enter. It'll also notice that it was a, a URL and it'll automatically hyperlink that address. So I'll put in my last resource and let's say that I'm going to continue on with more information on this Google document. What I would recommend if I want this page, all of this information to stay together on this page, before I go on to the next um, page two, a lot of times teachers may do like an enter, 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 enter until you get to the next page. And then they would put in their information on page two. The reason why I don't recommend this is that if I have this information on page two, Let's say later on I decide to add another resource. Well, what you may not notice is that when I hit enter here and add that next resource, you'll notice that because I put enters in after this, it actually pushes that information on page two down. If I hit enter again, you can see all that information on page two goes down. So instead what I should do is I should enter a page break. So I'm gonna kind of go back in time here. I'm gonna undo all of this. So instead of entering um, or putting in page returns here, what I should do is do a page break. Now I could go up to insert and choose page break, but you'll notice that right here it tells me what the shortcut is, control enter. So instead of doing um, insert from the menu in page break, I'm just going to hit control enter. That'll give me another page. Now I want to end the bullet point on this page. So control shift eight gave me the bullet point. Control shift eight will also undo that bullet point. And now I'm just going to start typing in my information. And now what will happen is that my, if, as I uh, enter more resources on page one, it will not push the information on page two down. This video demonstrated the time savers for creating numbered and bulleted lists.